shrimp with combination of vegetable. And we will show you how to uh, cut the shrimp into a donut shape, which some of you probably are not familiar with. And of course, some of the vegetables we have cut earlier, but I will repeat some of them. And of course, we have a gravy solution as well. So this one is not very spicy, but you could make it if you really wanted to. The combination of vegetable we have chosen is water chestnuts, that's one of them. And of course, usually it comes in the, in the can that already sliced, so they're uh, pretty much uh, rinsed well and you, you re, you're done with it. And the next item was in the list is the uh, bamboo shoots. And again, this is also comes in already sliced form. You really don't need to do much except rinse it very well. The next vegetable that we have chosen for the recipe is, of course, it's the bok choy. And this is known as one rib of bok choy, which is basically about four ounces or so, three, four ounces. And I'm going to show you how to, once again, how to cut this in domino shape. And the leaves, normally, we would eat, either add it at the end or discard it, but let's not be wasteful. But uh, uh, this particular uh, diameter, or precise, we're going to cut it into three ribs. You might say, or oh, three uh, pieces. And then we proceed to cut maybe an inch, inch and a quarter in length. And this, again, is a domino shape, as you can see, that we could play domino with it. Next vegetable we have here is pea pod. And I'm going to show you how to remove the fiber from the pea side. This is the pea size from both ends. Strip it. I can see there's a little fiber in there. And go the other side and you finish up whatever's left. And let me show you one more time. At the pea size, okay, and sometimes they're tender, they just break off quickly. For the purpose of its color as well as taste, we have used some of the sweet red pepper, and I'm going to show you how to cut in one-fourth inch in square, so, which means a cut them in strip of quarter inch, okay, and then of course, turn it 180 degrees or so, and then cut a quarter inch length. And you will, in theory, have a quarter inch squares. And that's where we are. Beautiful. Now I'm going to show you how to cut the shrimp into a donut shape. Of course, sometimes it's kind of hard to imagine what is a donut shape. So here is what we call a green shrimp, which means that he has the uh, shells on and tail and so on. So I'm going to show you how to remove the shell by getting into like so. And from the inside, remove the shell, in other words. Okay. And do the best you can and do as much, uh, get as much meat out of the shrimp as you can. As you can see, I even have the tail part. This is a meat too as well. So this is a shell we want to discard. Now, take the shrimp and curl it into this position here. All right? And then you take your knife or cleaver and kind of parallel with the cutting board and bite into or cut into the center of the shrimp. Okay? And then go three-quarter way down to the end of the shrimp or I call it opening of shrimp. So you, that's what you do. Cut, cut, cut. Have your finger down and have your uh, thumb on the cleaver and just this way. And then now it's three quarter way into the cutting and then take it out and open it up. Doesn't that look like a donut shape? Okay. Now at this point, if you see any vein or, or you have to remove it, of course this particular one, do not have the vein, which is usually is a, a grayish color or black color. Now let me just show you again. The, the shell has been removed on this one. And of course we're going to uh, put it up into, curl up like a, like a circle. And then we're on the center, make a cut, and voila. We have, oh, this one, as you can see, we need, have to remove the vein. I'm glad that this was happening. So remove this by that and then put it on a paper towel and you've got a donut shape. Okay, here are the vegetables that we have finished cutting as well as our shrimp cutting in donut shape. 
And of course, one other item that we did not show earlier is our making the gravy solutions. Our gravy solution comprise of cornstarch, rice cooking wine, light soy sauce, sesame oil, and white pepper powder. And of course, what I was saying, you should really, before you pour it, pour it in, uh, you must stir that up as I'm doing, so, but the cornstarch is settled at the bottom. Okay, after we have prepared all the stuff ready to cook, of course we need to heat up the wok very hot. And of course we have been heating it up, so therefore uh, the next, next item put in is our peanut oil or any other kind of oil that you have used. But uh, we have to wait for especially hot because the shrimp needs to be cooked uh, immediately. And when I put the oil in there, it should enhance a little uh, smoke as you can see. And furthermore, take your wok and kind of a, a coat the oil around it, okay? All right, now we're ready to put our shrimp in there, which is our donut shrimp, okay? As you can hear, the sizzling is very welcome, especially this kind of uh, cooking. You want to sear that shrimp quickly and have it, uh, and then spread it around just like you do on any other uh, cooking process so that the heat of the wok gets into the cooking. Now once you've got a spoon, turn them over and cook the other side, of course. Okay? And as you can see, it turns out to be a really nice donut-shaped type. And some of you may wonder, why are we cutting a donut shape? Of course, we, when we do this, we kind of really uh, cut the shrimp in half, you might say. And then uh, when we could, and also uh, much easier to cook, and also uh, the flavor of our seasoning going much better. And of course, it will be taste better. And as, as you can see, and how beautiful that looks now, it's like uh, maybe about 30% done. And now we're going to start adding the vegetable in there. And of course, our first vegetable is the uh, water chestnuts. And we're going to mix it a little well. And then the following will be the bamboo shoots. Again, mix, because these two items take a little bit longer to, to cook, okay? And also it does add a little moisture to it, which is really nice. And then we have the bok choy, which was in the domino shade. Mix it well. And then the pea pot. And lastly is a beautiful red pepper. That's a sweet red pepper, that is. And then we're going to mix it well. And of course, we're going to lower the flame a bit to enhance uh, water coming out from the veggie as well as the shrimp. So when we do that, uh, we should lower the flame, of course. Okay. 